Will the graduates to the degree of Bachelor of Arts please rise? You, you came here for the most part three years and nine months ago from all over the world and from 40 American states. Four of you are from Korea, one from Uzbekistan, one from Canada, where today it is Victoria Day because today is the birthday of Queen Victoria. More of you come from Illinois than any other state, but 15 of you, I am glad to say, are from Ohio, and one, I am very glad to say, is from Winchester, Massachusetts. It is also Julius Caesar and Bob Dylan's birthday. And more importantly, three of you were born today, Zyme, Ben, and Rob. Fifteen of you came as transfer students. On this date, David I, Scotland's iconic king, died in 1153. Peter Minuit purchased Manhattan from a group of Native Americans who were allegedly passing through. And the British Parliament passed the Act of Toleration in 1689, a signal step to religious toleration in the world. This is also the day in history when, in 1921, the legally embarrassing trial of Niccolo Sacco and Bartolomeo Vanzetti began in Dedham, Massachusetts. On May 24, 1822, the forces of the Quito presidency in Ecuador defeated the Spanish army to become independent. And John Brown and his five sons killed five pro-slavery people in Pottawatomie, Kansas on May 24th, 1856. While you have been here, the college has changed and developed. We dedicated and renovated the expanded Noyce Science Center. We built to our near completion the new Recreation and Athletic Center on 10th. We added several new subjects, including Arabic, film studies, and policy studies. You did many things while you were here. 47 of you took a course from Ira Strauber. But, but more of you took courses from Tammy Nyden, Keith Bruley, and Mark Montgomery than any other faculty member. 10 of you took piano with Eugene Gaub. Economics, English, and psychology are in a virtual three-way tie as the most popular major. 208 of you took a term abroad. You did many directed research projects, including one map on the election of 1800 in New Jersey. You collectively dropped and withdrew from 1,996 courses in your time here. 74 of you had a double major, and 13 of those 74 are graduating with honors in both of your majors. Beyond the classroom, you partied, you played sports, you stayed up too late many times, you engaged in political activity, community service, worked at campus jobs, and of critical importance, you lifeguarded for the president. Our volleyball team made it to the conference championship, as did our soccer, baseball, tennis, swimming, cross country, and probably other teams I have omitted. You made and lost friends, traveled a lot, and co contributed in many ways to the college. You had your ups and downs. You confronted evil amongst yourselves. You saw sadness and even death up close. In all of these triumphs and trials, you learned that together and with the help and love of others, including your families, trials can be endured, that greatness is born both in achievements and in suffering, that life is both a gift and at times, to quote John Bunyan, a tribulation. For your time here and now as you go, or at least as most of you go, we are grateful for you, for your energy and quiet presence here, your gifts to us, your playfulness, and your seriousness. But most importantly, we wish you well, not just to endure, but to contribute to the common good in whatever path you choose or is thrust upon you in life. We look forward to seeing you here or elsewhere, and I may even see you in other classrooms around the world. 
And in leaving, know that our love, our affection, even our hope, that you will continue to grow and the blessings of God will remain with you. Finally, don't be too demanding of the good or of perfection in life. I have presided over 22 graduations. It has been cloudy sometimes and hot sometimes, as you know, and even bitingly cold, but it has never rained. So I hope it will be for you in your life that you will endure with humility the trying as well as the good and even the wonders that will be bestowed upon you. Everyone, please stand for the benediction.